Okay. Now I gotta talk to Mr. Delilah the Fixer to about getting some assistance for this run. There he is, Mr. Delilah, a.k.a. the guy who looks exactly like the owner of my neighborhood bar. Aside from, aside from the sword on his back. Honky-tonk man? That would be cool, but no, my, my bartender is not the honky-tonk man. Yeah. If you're, if you're talking to me, there's business to transact. Am I right? Of course you're right. It's your job to be right. No. Yes, Mr. Delilah. I have a need I think you can fill. Of course you do. That's what you. That's why you came back. Street talk is that you're tracking the Ripper. What can I do for you, Ripper Tracker? I need to put a crew together. He's not very original with his nicknames. No. You got Scratch, or are you planning to pay me out of your earnings? I can pay the runners up front. If you if you say if you say that you'll pay a percentage of what you, of what you earn, he just says, you know, fuck that. I'm not, I don't trust you. No. <laughs> I can pay the runners up front. Excellent. We agree on terms. I've got some runners on call if you've got any special requirements. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's see him. Okay, remember that guy, the, the Nephilim Network guy? We can yes. We can hire from there as well. They tend to cost more, but they often have more skills. Or more, they have, like, interesting combinations of abilities. Huh. Now, as you can see, we have a variety of options. These guys are all in about the same price range, 1100 to 1300 Let's take a look at Nephilim. See, these guys are a bit pricier. A lot of them are like 1500 Okay. And these are... These are all... Each of them is unique. They each have their own stats, their own stuff. John Heller, human adept. See, he's got a machete. And now, now the damage is only four, but keep in mind strength and affects that. So, it would actually be higher after it takes you down. Let's see, let's check out his adept abilities. Killing hands. Passive, increased unarmed damage increased by four. Active, unarmed damage increased by a further six for four rounds. Mana Fist, a powerful magical punch that ignores armor. Magic resistance, nice. one. Passive, the adept gains a light cover bonus to magic spells. And he's got a smoke grenade and a frag grenade. Skills. Nothing too impressive, really. Um, no cyberware. You, another adept, a dwarf. Savoy Marchetti. Oh, he's got an axe. Nice. He's also an adept. Physical adept. Killing hands again. Magic resistance. Manifest. Grim Peeper. <laughs> I just love that. That's a great name. Troll pun is good. Is he just like a warrior? No, he's a troll decker. Oh, okay. But I've already got. I've actually got some equipment. I'm already equipped for that. So I'm actually better at decking than he is too. So that's always embarrassing. Hypotenuse. Another decker. This guy actually can match my lofting decking skill of three. But also, going with us for free is, uh... What's her name? Coyote. The sister of that guy. Oh. Halon Mar. Direct... His quote is, Direct magical pain is the best way to stop the old Geek the Mage strategy. Mana Bolt. Haste. Ooh, haste is freaking awesome. I might take this guy with Oh, he can do summoning, too. That's where he has, oh, he has Conjuring 5. Not bad. Hmm. Jimmy Hex. Another, a human mage. Oh, she has heal wounds. That would be handy. Mana Ball. That's an area of effect. Aim. Well, that's another good one. Okay, this one, this one has... She has a lot of good stuff, too. Sonya Krieger, Rigger. No, uh, that's what I am, so. Oh, she's got a Johnny Five as well. 
<laughs> Named something different, obviously. Johnny Four indicating that it's like, it's inferior to mine. <laughs> it only has four hundred megabytes of memory. Well, this guy has a better drone than I do. Strato Nine, an old Lone Star hover drone that has been given a weapon upgrade. That's kind of cool. And he's got an axe. <laughs> Jessica Blue. Oh, one thing I noticed, these are actually, this, a lot of these are different from the last time I played. Hmm. Is it, are they randomly generated? I don't, I don't know if it's completely random, but at least I guess there's like maybe a different, different like there's a certain number of them and which ones you can pick or change, change from game to game. I don't know. Bosnia Bomb. I've already got a shaman, like I said. Now, the Nephilim Network. Now, these guys, they have, like, just basic, you know, classes, you know, rigor, street samurai, mage. These guys have more, like, specialized of, like, human assassin. Hmm. Oh, he's got a smart gun with a silencer. This guy appears to be literally a Borg. <laughs> Burned out mage. My talent began to weaken. The Nephilim network had the tools to forge a substitute. Oh, he's got a... It's interesting, he's got a data jack. Smart link, uh, shotgun. Blindness. Weaken armor. Cylon Sirit. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure she's just, like, Lady Cyclops. Boo. Um, may, may, well, maybe this one isn't a adulterous, possible murderer with the Phoenix Force. <laughs> maybe. I just boo when I hear Cyclops. I can't believe you fell for that when I put it on my status. I told you, I, I like old Cyclops. I like, like, X-Men cartoon <laughs> Cyclops. Yeah. I, I will stand by X-Men cartoon Cyclops till the day I die. <laughs> so this guy's a combat deck. He has a willpower 5, which is really of no use to a decker. But... El Duce, human cyber warrior. The network has rewarded me with a state-of-the-art replacement for my weak meat body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got some cyberware here. Silver Tech Cyber Arm, plus six hit points. Oh, quickness five. Got two guns that are both smart link. Winterhawk. Matthew. Alexander Falk. Aruba. The network has trusted me as the avatar that will control the machines of this age. These guys really like the network. Killuminati Alabrad. That sounds like a uh, internet handle. <laughs> Alexi. His, his class is Utility Man. So he just, like, like re he just repairs your electric connection and such. <laughs> oh, he's got a pistol and a... I guess he's a Decker. This guy kind of... Huh, that's interesting. This guy kind of is a jack-of-all-trades, I guess. He's got a mage spell, a shaman spell, a cyber deck, a gun... Ooh, look at this guy. He's got a lot of cyber parts. Dermal plating. Ooh, he had, had, his, had his eyes replaced. Okay, well, I think I'm going to grab this one mage. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab her for the area of effect spell and the healing. Actually, the mages, they have a lot of good, like, stat-improving spells. Like, aim can be really handy. Alright. Hmm. You're hired, Jenny. Alright, so... She, and she's got the shaman stuff. I've got the decker slash... Rigger. I mean, I, I mean the decker slash rigger slash... Maybe I should get, like, a... Pure combat guy. Just a muscle. Yeah. I don't want to try one of these... Adepts? I didn't really get... I didn't really use Adepts that much last time. Let's give them a try. Well, this guy has more hit points. And more importantly, he has an axe. And I just like the idea of having an axe-wielding dwarf with me on my cyberpunk mercenary run. Of course. Savoy Marchetti, you're hired. Total cost, 2450. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got some nitro. Strength and willpower, plus two. Charisma and intelligence, minus two for five rounds. Oh, he's got, a, he's got the, the mid-tier frag grenade, too. Okay. Let's do this. Hire these runners and meet Shannon at the NTSB warehouse? Yes. And we're off. Return to the docks. You return to the docks to meet Shannon Half Sky. Although the Ripper's latest victim was her brother. But Shannon. That's, that's like right here. But Shannon appears cool and professional. A consummate runner by birth, if not by trade. She'll get the job done. And, hopefully, one of the hearth spirits in this place can point you towards the Ripper. Dealing with spirits can be tricky business, but when they deliver, it's pure platinum. One doesn't have to be an Amerindian shaman to summon and control spirits. Anyone with magic talent can do it. Shannon has, seems to have a particular connection to the spirit world. As you approach the gate, you know something's not right. The docks, already strange and uncomfortable at night, trigger the need for caution. Then you see it. The guards are missing, and the gate's been smashed in. Uh-oh. Well. Well, this seems like deja vu. Last minute. Oh, he's got his cyberdeck just on his back like that. That's interesting. Or is that the drone? No, that is the cyberdeck. He's got he's got a U-force with him. Oh, yeah, you can give them items and such. But I, I'm not one to share, so. <laughs> well, this guy's badass looking. What is it? Will you get items back that you equip them with? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm loath to risk giving things to others. <laughs> so. No, they're, they're good. Shannon Half Sky. <coughs> About time you showed up. <coughs> Looks like we're the only ones who want to take advantage of the situation. A bunch of mercs have locked down the area. I don't think they're here for us, though. My guess is there's something worth a bit of coin left in that warehouse. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Well, it was for Lone Star. They're all dead. Hope you're a better shot than they are. At least there's no rigmarole involving getting a ladder and distracting the guard and whatnot. Scrawny guard, y you there! This block is off limits. There's uh, we've got a gas leak on the docks here. Large leak, very dangerous. Uh, how are you? No loitering. <laughs> that wasn't the best Han Solo impression, I admit. Shannon Half Sky. This guy doesn't look like one of the high-eared mercenaries. Hey, are you even listening? 
Get out of here! I'm not leaving. I'm not here for you, just let me through. Ooh, etiquette. Shadowrunner. Really, guy? They aren't paying you enough. Especially not once Lone Star sends a response to you. You also have etiquette. Corp corporate. Damn, kid, did you have to break the fence? Killing you won't cost a dime, but replacing that fence... But, you know, we, 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 you know, we use one of our etiquettes on Shadowrunner, so let's use it. Frag, I knew she was lying. Told me they jammed all the Lone Star channels. Damn it, I'm out. So, so Lee, oh, okay. Alrighty. Ooh, there's some bodies. Let's be Lone Star. He said docks. Uh oh! Fan out and secure the area! This is no good. 